What is up everyone? I have a Gears of War 4 team deathmatch gameplay on the map Relic. Obviously this is one of the new maps that was not in the beta so I wanted to put up a match of some early access Gears of War 4 footage so people could see how it plays out. I must say that overall I'm already very satisfied. You can tell this is a Gears game. It looks and feels great and I think people are really going to be happy with it. Uh, obviously I haven't played enough to make an informed opinion on the specifics of certain things but as a whole uh, it seems to be the Gears game that a lot of people were asking for. A little bit about the gameplay, it's not an ultra competitive one but I think I've said this before, uh, it, it was a fun one to play and normally when they're fun to play they're fun to watch so uh, that's what the gameplay serves. Uh, for the for the purposes of this video now I wanted to kind of briefly talk about what I want to do now that I have the full Gears of War 4 title to work with as does everybody else who's um, currently playing does uh, because obviously yeah there was not much I could do just with uh, beta footage that wasn't set in stone but uh, man is my mind racing with cool things that can be done um, with Gears of War 4 now so I think I gained maybe a small bit of an audience but for the most part I think I have the, the same core audience I've had for a while but I wanted to share anyway just kind of the projects that I'm envisioning in my head maybe get some ideas first and foremost you're going to see the the classics return inside my mind uh, so that's where I critique myself um, I'm gonna aim for one video a week at minimum maybe more uh, especially given the first week so uh, yeah if you know keep an eye out I'll probably post a critique of my own gameplay uh, within the next few days just in celebration of Gears 4 being out. I'm also going to bring back the art of clutching but I'm dropping the name it's gonna be called clutch class and if you are familiar with my older videos that's basically where I take my clutches and break them down uh, and just kind of explain what's going through my head now those ones are a little bit harder to make because obviously it requires me to clutch uh, and by definition all things being equal uh, statistically you're not going to be clutching that often but uh, when it does happen it's it, it's a super good feeling that I find you can't quite get from other games and uh, they make for some pretty nice videos too I also wanted to do a tip series for game specific modes there's actually quite a few game types in Gears of War 4 and I think we're gonna see a lot more so I'm interested to put together two videos for different approaches you can use for game types like team deathmatch, es escalation, execution, dodgeball uh, because I do find that having a particular uh, mindset or, or framework of, of how you're going to uh, approach these game types will help increase uh, your success. I'm also going to do some uh, just some offhand tip videos of like toolbox tips is what I, I'm gonna call it. There's a lot of little things uh, that are worth noting in Gears of War games that can just really help you succeed whether it's how to properly use your TACOM or how to pop shot over cover. Things that seem simple but you can actually go in depth enough to to kind of add this extra skill set um, to what you currently have and I must say I think Gears is one of those games where the little things really do add up and that's what separates a good player from a great player uh, but learning these little uh, tricks and whatnot takes a lot of, uh, of time and uh, that's actually gonna be part of the fun of this channel for me is that I'm gonna have to kinda learn how to master the some of the specifics that come with Gears of War 4 even though the the basics kind of uh, transition over another thing that I wanted to do although I'm not quite sure how I would go about it would be replay reviews and that's basically where I take gameplay from other people uh, preferably people who watch uh, my channel and kinda critique their gameplay or give them feedback uh, if that's what they're looking for I think that would be a lot of fun to do I just ha would have to figure out how to get the video files it would be a cool way to promote uh, other people and and just kinda help players who maybe don't uh, consider themselves uh, top tier because I don't know they're new to the game or, or for whatever reason so that would be really cool and I'll see if I can implement that in my channel listen ins will also be here for competitive matches hopefully the ranking system you know really works and uh, my friends and I can go up against some uh, high-end players and kind of let you have listen ins for that and I haven't decided about horde yet there's a chance that I might do some horde stuff but it's not a priority right now I'm very much uh, player versus player uh, kind of guy uh, for the channel so 
anyway, I'll, I'll, I'll kind of leave it with that. I'll leave you to watch the rest of the, of the gameplay. Obviously, it's a very exciting time uh, to be a Gears player right now. This The longevity of the game I really do think is going to be here. I've been having a ton of fun. I haven't even touched campaign yet. So uh, feel free to leave me suggestions in the comments of things you would like to see or just uh, how you're feeling about Gears uh, and say hi and uh, I'll be sure to read them and keep your eye out for some uh, cool new stuff coming on the way soon. Other than that, I will talk to you later.